Hey you, are you fed up of only making 100% returns on your long-term investments? Well now you can get rich quick with day trading. Welcome back everybody, my name's Paul. If you've never seen me before, I've recently started investing and I'm trying to work out how to use the Trading212 app. I'm pretty good with the Invest and ISA side of it, but I've never touched the CFD side. And I imagine that a lot of the people that watch these videos probably haven't either. It's amazing how different the CFD area is. And it's pretty crazy that two thirds of the Trading212 app are dedicated to long-term investing but then there's one third which is just entirely different. CFD stands for Contracts for Difference. The cool kids call it day trading. Day trading is where you're making quick decisions based on where the market's going in the short term. It's all very exciting and it's very easy to get carried away. And you get to start looking cool and using phrases like Dude, I just made an awesome play across that trend line. And Yo, I just went mad short of that resistance. And Oh man, I just lost 10 grand. Sorry day traders, this could be a little bit bias. Trading212 has this Contracts for Difference platform that lets you make trades on pretty much anything. It's free, commission free, and it has really tight spreads. But I've just used quite a lot of jargon in the intro to this video. And CFDs are very complex, so I'll just break this down a little bit. Contracts for Difference is very different to buying stocks. At no point during CFD trading do you actually own an asset. You're simply making a deal with a broker to say that a stock or a currency or an index is going to go up or down in the short term. It's almost exactly the same as, say, going on the Bet365 app and saying that Man City is going to win their next game by four goals. Go sports! And when you go into an app like Trading212 and you click on an instrument like gold, you have the option to tell Trading212 whether you think that gold will go up or down based on whether you click buy or sell. By clicking buy, you are said to be going long on the stock, which means you think that the stock price will go up. By clicking sell, you are said to be going short on a stock, which means you think that the stock price is going to go down. This is unlike the Invest and ISA accounts, where you actually physically buy the stock or buy the asset with the idea that its price will appreciate. It's kind of like a house or a painting or something. You're buying it at its current value with the idea that its value will go up and you'll eventually be able to sell it for more than you bought it. In CFD, you can basically bet both ways. But in CFD, everything is short term, so you're buying and selling all the time. But in an ISA, the idea is that you should be investing long term. So there's a lot less activity. And Trading212 make most of their money off the CFD section because there's so many trades going on all the time. They're able to make quite a considerable amount of money just on the little pence here and there they get off the spreads. And because there is all this activity on the CFD section, the pessimistic side of me says that Trading 2 and 2 is just offering the commission free investing side of its app and then dangling the carrot of the CFD to try and get you to go a bit more hardcore. It feels like the financial equivalent of a drug dealer like giving your first one free. But we all know that eventually the drug will end up taking over your life and you'll find yourself down an alleyway sucking off dudes for more leverage. So it's extremely easy to compare CFD to gambling. Dude, day trading isn't gambling. Learn to read charts, man. There are only a few products in the world that have to have a warning plastered all over them before you get involved, like smoking and drinking and gambling. And day trading is on that list. The law had to step in and force these trading apps to tell you how often people lose money. Because the average loss of a CFD trader is around about £2,000. And if you think CFD trading is as bad as gambling, wait until you add leverage. Yo, uh, got any leverage? Leverage is a bit of a demon that can really ruin your day. Leverage is basically borrowing money to amplify your return, which is fucking great. But it acts the same inversely. If the stock goes in the opposite direction to what I think it is, then I'm gonna lose double the money. Using leverage, you're really spending more money than you actually put in. And if you lose, Trading212 takes that extra money out of the free funds in your account. There's quite a bit of a hoo-ha on the internet. There's a few forums where people are saying Trading212 has stole from them or blocked their funds. These could be valid claims. They could be problems with the service. But it's most likely that these people thought they were trading with a certain amount when really they're actually putting all of the funds in their account at risk. And if you win, it's happy days. 
but if you lose, trading two on two has a little safety net to catch you so you don't end up spiraling into debt. If you bet badly, you'll only lose most of your money, unlike the old days where they would have just let you carry on going into debt. And the law had to force them to do this. So let's get day trader Chad to make a bet now and see how his money goes based on today's market. Chad's granddad has been investing all of his life and he's managed to give Chad about 40k. And Chad wants to turn that money into some serious money really quickly. He sees the UK index today and he thinks that can't go up anymore today. So Chad has an option. If he clicks buy, he's choosing to go long, meaning he thinks the market will go up. If he clicks sell, he thinks the market is going down and he'll make a short trade. And Chad's smart. He's going to bet against the index today. He knows something that others don't because he reads the charts. So he sets how many units he wants to buy, which is the absolute maximum, and he clicks sell. And that's how quick it is. There's no like, oh, are you sure you would like to make this trade? My computer asks me every five minutes if I want to close that window. Trading 212 can't even put a tick box in saying, are you sure you want to make this trade, you idiot? But there we have it. Trade's made. And I'm immediately a few thousand down. And this isn't because the market's moved really quickly. This is because of the bid offer spread. The bid offer spread is the difference between the long price and the short price. To get this, you really have to imagine two guys standing on a trading floor. The buyer says to the seller, I want that stock for $99. And the seller says, nah, I want 100. And you're stuck in the middle because you've got to choose one or the other. And it's why you can't buy a stock and then immediately sell it for the same price. Because no one wants to buy that thing you've just bought for less than you bought it for. So in trading, everything starts off weighted against you. Let's check back with Chad. Oh man, I'm down. I better get out. So Chad's got scared and he's sold out and he's closed the trade at a loss. And unfortunately, this is common. People make bad decisions, they get scared, they sell out really quickly, and then they lose their granddad's life savings. But what can happen next is even worse. Chad now wants to make his money back, and the best thing he can do is find another trade that he wants to make and make it back that way. And if he just makes enough to break even again, he'll be happy with that. So he goes in the opposite direction. He finds another stock and he bets another way with a little bit less money just to make his money back. And this is called the sum cost fallacy, where you keep chasing the market down in order to get yourself back up to just break even. You repeat and repeat the same thing and it just gets worse. And as you can see in the length of this video, Chad's lost almost 10 grand and it's only been a few minutes. Oh, monster energy tastes like shit. Day trader chat. Okay, I've been very negative so far, but there is a lot of terrible shit in CFD trading. But I'll admit, it looks fun, and I imagine the endorphin hit you get when you win is amazing. And it almost looks doable. And on YouTube, there are some people making big bucks in day trading. They show off their big cars and houses, and in the thumbnails, they show you how much money they made off one trade. But they barely ever tell you how often they make a loss. They only really tell you when they make a loss when it's big and exciting. It's very much like seeing your ex-girlfriend's trip around South America on Facebook. You're pretty jealous that she's living her life without you. But when you zoom out, you realize she's being auctioned off by a cartel. Day trading has a pretty glamorous image around it. When really, most of the good day traders are sitting around in their pants, stressing over micro movements. There are lots of very quiet day traders out there, slugging it out, making very small gains and making a living. But these guys are very meticulous and calculating and they place the safe bet as often as they can. Sometimes they can go weeks without making a trade. They're not sitting on their phone or a subpar desktop app. They're using serious up to the second equipment. There are some pretty good day trading YouTubers out there though. Um, uh, Warrior Trading and Humble Trader are very, very good. They do have to do all the YouTube raz, but underneath it all, the message is really about safety and doing loads of calendar research. At 2.30 every day, I try to watch Conquer Trading Investing. It's actually a great insight into what the technical analysis thinks the market is doing right now. The thing is, is that most of these technical analysis guys are very, very vague. They're always saying, oh man, there's great resistance along this trend line, but they always end their sentences with, I don't know for sure. And that's because most of the time they're wrong and they rarely make positive decisions. And we haven't even got to trading fees yet. 
CFDs come with a lot of hidden charges and fees. In Trading 212's defense, it doesn't actually charge for a lot of these things, but you should still be aware of Forex and overnight fees that can be bundled in with the spread. They'll also charge you for certain features like putting in a trailing stop loss. Personally, I don't think I'm ever gonna use CFD, even though it does look fun. It's dangerous and I have an addictive personality. It's the same reason why I haven't showered for two days because I'm trying to get this video written and recorded before I go back to work. Overall, I really do hope that Trading212 starts to make a bit of money on its ISA and investing accounts. Preferably, I hope it doesn't cost me anything, but I would love it if it starts to take the pressure off the CFD side of the business because I imagine that most CFD customers just join up, lose a lot of money, and then never touch the app again. I can see much more of a freemium model come into the ISA and invest accounts with some extra features that you might have to pay a fee for. And at that point, I'll have to decide if those features are going to be beneficial to me. If you are into CFDs, go for it. But please realize the risks that you're taking and that it's not a get rich quick scheme. You have to sit and take your time and wait for the perfect market conditions. So you take the trade with the least possible risk. But CFD isn't for me. And that's mainly because I recognize that I'm not smart enough or have the patience to do it. I'm very much buy and hold stocks and cost fucking average. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this has kind of explained my opinions on CFD and hopefully what CFD is. The trading app I've been using in the video is Trading212. There is a link in the description below if you wanted to sign up. If you sign up and make a deposit, you get a free share and one of my subscribers gets a free share. I imagine there could be a few angry day traders out there. Just let me know your opinion in the comment and I'll ignore it. And if you want to have a chat in the Discord, I'm on there as often as I can, but I'm usually answering comments on YouTube. But there's also loads of people on there talking about stocks and giving advice. It's really good. We even have a day trading section. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you found this video interesting and entertaining, please like, subscribe and invest. Oh man, I made a... <laughs> um... Oh fuck my guess. Yeah! Monster! <laughs> SPY Lord! <laughs> Dollar cost averaging my ass! Ish. Yo, uh, suck your dick for some leverage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've had too much monster. Good dish! Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs>